Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Dromgool. We run into problems in the garden. Not everybody does, but sometimes we run into a problem. Maybe it's been wet, moist, a lot of humidity for a while. We run into diseases. Diseases are um, somewhat easily managed early. Don't wait till the whole plant is covered with the disease because that makes it more challenging. You can get control, but get it early. Learn to identify it. A couple of safe products to use for um, control of diseases. Uh, both of these right here are excellent products. They use a bacteria, and this bacteria is what's going to control the disease. They're very good. They're organic, nice and safe, basically. A lot of organic gardening products are thought to be safe. They are, in a way, but they also need to be used with caution. These are the disease controls, very effective ones. They do a good job. I've used them. Um, another um, product, right here in front, actually, but it will be useful here in the summertime. Sometimes folks are preparing a new bed and they see grub worms. If you have more than five grub worms in a square foot, you're beginning to have a problem right there. But the occasional grub worm out there, that's not a problem. That's pretty natural. These are beneficial nematodes. They will get rid of those critters when you have a larger amount. That's the only time to go out and spray necessarily. And, um, but one of the good things that they do is control fleas in the yard very effectively. That's probably one of the things that I know of it doing the best, getting rid of fleas in the home landscape. Uh, Got to protect the cats and the dogs, so that's the easy way. Instead of treating the animal, treat the yard. Here's something, when you're potting things up, ants get into the pots if you're not cautious. And so we put a screen in the bottom of it. This is the kind of screen that you can buy at some of the hardware stores, and uh, they're usually used to repair a door. Well, get some of that, cut it into little squares, three inches or so, and put them over the holes. The critters can't move in. The pill bugs, the roaches, the ants, they're kept out that way. Here's an insecticidal soap. Insecticidal soaps have been around since before the products were on the market. We used to mix our own up, very effective, but people need to um, have a formula and use it right away when they want to. There's no more time to be spending in the kitchen or wherever preparing those things. I encourage you to do it though. And so here it is in a concentrate and here it is in a ready to use sprayer. Uh, they're both the same thing, but when you buy one of these, you're actually buying and paying for the spreader too. Another thing though, thrip are a big problem on the roses. They're in the flower. You can look in there and you can see the thrip. The most effective thing that I've ever used on the, in the rose garden is garlic oil. It works very well. I would remove any of the flowers that have thrip in them, save all of the buds because they're going to open up safely without the thrip when you spray with the garlic. And it's another good way to get rid of mosquitoes in the landscape. Here's a few ideas that are very effective at managing insects of different types and diseases, and you can do it safely, and you can get good, good control using these organic methods. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time.